Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and today I'm going to be talking about Napoleonics, specifically my journey into Napoleonics this year, how it happened and um, just a bit of a, a bit of a progress update. So how did it happen? Cast your minds back to the start of the year when everything was, was pretty much normal in everyone's world. Um, on, in the YouTube community, we had something called the Winter Warmer Challenge. Now, what was this? The challenge was to, to um, make a pledge to complete something by the end of the month. I believe it was January, if my memory serves me correct. Um, all you had to do was choose something and ensure that it was fully painted by the end of the month. So I decided, yeah, I, I like a bit of a challenge. I'll have me some of this. Now, I did consider... You know something something a bit difficult um maybe recreating the sistine chapel on the um the ceiling of my bathroom or painting the mona lisa in crayons but no i went for something something truly truly challenging now not many things scare me uh, i only have two moths and pineapple on pizza that i they they're truly truly terrifying um, uh, but what's what's truly more terrifying than moths and pineapple on pizza uh, painting napoleonics it's the thought has always just filled me with just rigid fear so i thought right now is the time to conquer my fear of painting napoleonics so that's what i did now i started off with this box here that's on the screen uh, i bought this oh maybe two three years ago um for really no discernible reason except i was it's one of those projects where you oh, things you buy you get home you think why did I buy this? I've got no interest in it. And it sat on the shelf and gathered dust for many years. So I decided to have a go. Now my initial challenge um, was just to paint one base. Um, but it's kind of grown from there. Now rather than just show you what I've what I've done so far, I thought I'd do it in this format just to show you, um, put it in pictures, just to show you how it's, how it's progressed over the past nine months or so. So back to the winter warmer challenge. My plan was to complete one base of six miniatures, um, and I did that. Um, but I also com <laughs> I also completed another base. I completed two two bases of six, and a stand of um, skirmish and volta voltageurs. Now there should be pictures on the screen now of what they look like. Um, these took me an age, an absolute age to paint. In fact, I think I remember on one of the videos that I, I think I mentioned. That in the in the time it took me to paint these uh, 14 figures i probably could have completed a couple of bolt action uh, army boxes <laughs> it was so alien to me and there was so much so many bright colors there was whites and reds and blues and i, I didn't use agrax earth shade and yeah now what i did after that i when those 14 were finished i thought let's carry on with this so what i did i um, prepared the command section from the box, uh, mounted them on the corks that I um, I paint figures on, and then forgot about them. I literally just didn't do anything with them. I undercoated them. I think I I did the the basic uniform colours, and that was it. They 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 got relegated to the the, the shelf of abandoned projects, and I didn't think I would ever ever see them again, until uh, uh, last month. Um, Every Monday, uh, I appear on the uh, the Plastic Crack um, podcast. Uh, this can be found on a couple of channels. Uh, Seventh Son, uh, Boots on the Table with Dom, and also the Miniature, miniature Wargaming Warriors channel. And it's essentially four gamers uh, chatting about, about gaming, painting, and a whole host of other issues and questions. Well, last month, I made a rather rash pledge that I would, <laughs> I would finish... The command section by the next podcast which was, which was seven days and i did it i sat down i painted them in two days and i was truly truly stunned so there should be some pictures on the screen now of of what they look like <clears throat> yeah i was i was quite impressed now i could have just left it at that i'd complete the pledge after all and i could have gone back to painting some bolt action germans um, which is something i am rather prone to do but no i thought no i these need to be based so to base them, um, I needed to um, build two more companies. So five more, well, four more, four, nine more, nine more figures to complete the two bases. No, yes, no, nine more. <laughs> I'm getting my maths all mixed up here. And so I set, I set out to do that. 
and what you'll see on the screen now is that I actually succeeded. I painted another two bases. Now I'm on a, at, the, at this point I'm on a roll. I'm like yes, this is this is awesome. I'm I'm still in immense pain painting white. Um, it fills me with horrors and uh, when it comes to painting the the, the straps, uh, the the uh, yeah, I need to take a moment and reflect. And I know there's going to be much swearing as I um as I as I make my way my make my way through. But what I'm finding is that yeah. It, it's, I'm finding it difficult, but it's enjoyable, and I really, really love the results. So, with that, um, what I then needed was um, to do some more. So, I've also been painting, uh, painting up this this um, this fourth base. Um, actually, no, no, it's the fifth base because I've, I've painted um, grenadiers, three fusilier companies, and I've started a, a company of voltageurs as well. So, they will be on the screen now. Um, too much yellow, <laughs> too much yellow to paint on these guys. Um, but again, it's a it's a learning curve. Let's put it that way. So with them done, I'm now nine figures away from completing the entire battalion. Um, I'm going to complete the skirmishes, but I'm I'm just concentrating on the, the the main the main company at the moment. So on the screen now will be some photographs of what 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 I've painted so far and how it looks. And yeah, I'm. I'm getting there. I'm quite impressed. Um, I think between um, me, me and Ken, we've um, we've sort of we're, we're both getting into Napoleonics at the same time. So it's interesting to have someone to, to bounce ideas off and you know watch each other's, watch each other's progress. But I'm I'm sort of enjoying this, and I can now understand why people really get get invested in painting Napoleonics. Um, it's a challenge to me. It's it's I've had to completely change the way I paint, but the the results are are, are definitely worth it. Absolutely, definitely worth it. Um, and I'm going to carry on. In fact, just before I started recording this video, I've primed um, the last company of fusiliers. So I'll be painting six fusiliers over the weekend. Hopefully, I have them finished by Monday. Then it's on to the rest of the voltageurs and then the skirmishers, and that's the battalion completed. And I may even even start another box although i did say i was going to reward myself with some um some um artillery some cannons for, for getting this box done um but that's it just a very short pictorial update on my journey through napoleonics so far um if you've got any comments or questions uh, about this or gaming in general uh, feel free to pop them in the um the comment section below but as always thanks for watching do take care may your dice roll well and i'll catch you all in the next video so bye bye for now